today on what it looks like we are going to try something new it is from healthy choice it is healthy choice simply steamers southwest style chicken burrito bowl this is what it looks like on the box now i bought this at walmart it was three dollars and 42 cents that's not bad at all so when i was walking by and i saw it i thought wow i wonder if this is a chipotle killer like will this be better than a chipotle bowl that i usually would get which I don't get that often because the one thing I don't like about Chipotle is that all of their side items have onions in it, like everything. It's like onion overload. So if you get a chicken burrito bowl and you want to add the pico, of course pico has onions in it. They don't offer just plain tomatoes. The corn salsa has onions in it. The guacamole has onions in it. Everything has onions except lettuce and cheese. So <laughs> that's why I don't really get it too often. So I thought when I saw this one, Maybe this is my alternative to Chipotle. Here's what it says on the box. It's chicken breast with vegetables and a blend of cheese uh, served with whole grain brown rice and an enchilada sauce. Now the vegetables on the back here, it says is corn, green bell peppers, and black beans. So no onions at all. <laughs> so we'll see. Now at Chipotle where I am, a bowl, a chicken burrito bowl is $8.65. Then if you want to add guacamole to it, that's another $2.85, so we're easily over $10. So for $3.42, this would be a really good alternative, especially, especially if it tastes good and if it looks the way it looks on the box, which we're going to find out here in a second. So let's go ahead and get started on what it looks like. Southwest Chicken Burrito Bowl from Healthy Choice. Wanna go to the store, wanna get some Wanna go to the store, wanna eat some The food on the box look good, don't it? Should you buy it, should you wait, should you jump on it? You wanna know if it's good, does it taste right? Wanna try before you buy it, what it looks like Hey, hey, what it looks like Hey, hey, what it looks like Wanna go to the store, wanna get some Wanna go to the store, wanna eat some What it looks like Hey, hey, what it looks like All right, let's get this box open, see how it looks on the inside. Got a nice little zip tie right there. I couldn't get off completely. That does not work that well. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ah, nice. So now you can see it's got the sauce underneath here. So we're gonna steam it first and then we're gonna dump it into the sauce. You're gonna cook it in the microwave for four to four and a half minutes and there's no need to vent the film. I do like all the vegetables you see in here, the corn, everything looks like it's pretty fresh actually. So I think it's gonna be a really good meal. I hope so. But before we see what it looks like, let's check out the nutritional facts. Serving size, one per container. Calories, 280. Total fat, six grams. Saturated fat, 2.5 grams. Trans fat, zero grams. Polyunsaturated fat, one gram. Monounsaturated fat, two grams. Cholesterol, 35 milligrams. Sodium, 540 milligrams. Total carbohydrates, 37 grams. Dietary fiber, seven grams. Total sugars, six grams. Protein, 20 grams. And now let's see what it looks like. What it looks like is not bad at all. I really like how the corn is so vibrant here in real life. It's very similar to what you see here on the box. The one thing it looks like on the box, they have it sprinkled with some cheese or something like that. I'm not really sure, but you don't see that at all in real life. Everything just looks like uh, like the enchilada sauce. Everything is covered in that, which is great. It doesn't appear to be as covered in on the box, I guess, so that you can see more detail. Notice how though on the box, the chicken is very brown. Now you do see some of that here in real life, not a whole lot. Like here's a couple of pieces where it's brown, but nowhere near as brown as what you see on the box. The peppers on here too, in real life, don't look as green and vibrant as what you see here on the box. 
it looks a lot better. I think these are probably fresh. They just cut them and put them right into the picture here. But overall, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I think it's going to taste well, at least according to the way it looks. So <laughs> this is what it looks like. Pretty, pretty happy with the way it looks. I'm pretty happy. It doesn't look exactly like the box, though. Not exactly like the box. Like the box looks way more appetizing compared to what you see in real life. But otherwise, not bad at all. Healthy choice. Not bad at all. Oh, wow. You can definitely tell it's a Southwest uh, style dish. You smell the enchiladas like big time. Overall, it smells pretty decent. Doesn't smell freezer burn. I like the way it smells. Don't really smell peppers. I was hoping I could smell the bell peppers, but no, not really. Yeah, everything you smell is the uh, is the sauce. I kind of smell some black beans in there. All in all, it's not a bad smell at all. I don't think you'll be disappointed with the way it smells. It smelled pretty good when it was cooking in the microwave. When I had to stir it up, it smelled really good. So I'm, I'm happy with the way it smells. Not bad at all. Okay, here we go, how it tastes. Let's see. Mmm. That's a thick piece of chicken. Mmm. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not like rich in flavor. Like if I had some guacamole, oh man, that would really be good. But it's not bad at all. It's not bad. The chicken. Mmm. Chicken's a little bit dry, <laughs> but it was a it was a thick piece of chicken to be honest. So it has pretty good flavor. It's not bad. Let's try a bite this time with no chicken in it. A lot of times when you have these kind of meals, the corn is like bursting with flavor. Uh, this time, not not so much. Not so much. I think the more you start to eat, they start to get a, a little bit bland, just a little bit. But I think for $3.42, I mean, you can't beat that. It doesn't taste bad. It's not as flavorful, if I'm being honest, as Chipotle. It's not. But I like this because it doesn't have onions in it, which was my big thing with Chipotle, as I mentioned earlier. So overall, I, I could eat this. I could eat it. And if I were hungry, I could buy two of these for, uh, what, $6.82, which is still way cheaper than one bowl at Chipotle. <laughs> so is it a Chipotle killer? Not, not so much, but is it a Chipotle killer on a budget? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So uh, this is not bad. I'm gonna eat the whole thing for sure. I'm gonna eat the whole thing for sure. Not bad at all. Welcome to the Will Awards where the contestants will be judged on smell, taste, and of course, what it looks like. Each contestant must score at least 20 points. And let's go to the judges on the first category of smell. Eight. Next up is taste. Seven. And now for that all important category, what it looks like. Seven. Eight. Thank you for watching another one of our videos. We are committed to bringing you our honest opinion about the way it smells, tastes, and of course, what it looks like. So please like and subscribe today. Hit that notification bell so you do not miss another one of our videos. And if there is a food product you would like for us to try before you buy, 
please leave a comment below and if we can find it, we will show you what it looks like. No animals were harmed in the making of this video. However, they may or may not have been harmed in the making of the contestant. But we had nothing to do with that. We promise, honestly, you can trust us.